Hello everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another video on Firebase email and phone authentication tutorial. So this is the first video of this series and in this video today we are going to start our project and create the Android Studio project and integrate that project with Firebase and we'll also work on some basic UI that we're go we are going to need for this particular project. Okay. So I have my Android Studio open here and I'm on the latest version of Android Studio that is 4.0.1. You may be on the list. You may be on the older version of the Android Studio and if you are watching on this future and if you have not updated your Android Studio then I recommend you to up update it because I'm going to share the source code of this project into the GitHub and if you want to download and use that you need to have the newer version of uh, Gradle as well as the newer version of Android Studio. So it's a good idea to update your Android Studio version to the newer version. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and create the new Android Studio project. So we all know how to do that. Click on start new Android Studio project. And as always, we'll select the empty activity and we're gonna give the name and I'm gonna give the name as, yeah, I'm gonna give the name as full authentication and you can specify the locations and all that stuff make sure to select the java as the primary language here and i'm gonna select the minimum sdk as 23 which is good enough marshmallow you know now i'm gonna click on the finish button here it will start loading this project for us and once that is done we can go ahead and start writing the code for this project okay okay the application is up and running now and we can go ahead and start programming the app that we need obviously now the first thing first i want to connect this application to the firebase because it is important to have this application connected to our firebase before we can actually start programming all the good stuff that we want in our application and yes we will also be implementing the tab layout as i shown you in the final application and we'll also implement fragment with the tab layout so yes you are going to learn all that stuff so uh, before that let's go ahead and connect firebase here and if you have watched previous videos on firebase that i have uploaded on my channel then uh, there i have shown you guys how to connect firebase uh, ma manually or uh, you know automatically using the firebase assistant that that comes built in with the android studio if not let's go ahead and do that so that you can uh, follow along with me okay so go to the tools and here you can see the one option called Firebase and once you click on that it's going to open the uh, catalog of the services that you can integrate in your application and here are the things that we can implement in our application to use the Firebase services. The one we are interested in is obviously authentication so I'm going to click on that and now here you can see it's going it, it have the few steps one two three four steps actually but we don't need to uh, follow the three and four because we'll uh, do that by ourselves but first thing first we need to connect to this project to the firebase okay so since i have used this android studio before to connect with the firebase so it, it is displaying that i have account connected here so i'm just going to sign out first okay and now it we don't have anything connected to this android studio so now i'm going to click on connect to firebase and when you do that it's going to open the browser for the first time and now uh, here we need to select the account google account that we want our firebase to firebase project to connect okay so this is the new one okay so now the, uh, when you go to the firebase console for the first time it's going to ask you to uh, agree to the top and condition just click on that okay and continue and now here you have the interface to create the new project okay so um yeah now i'm gonna click on create a project okay and it's going to uh, ask for a project name so click on continue and here you can enable the analytics that is up to you i like to uh, have that an analytics on and now it says it is creating the project and it's gonna take few seconds to do that once that is done we can uh, 
proceed with the other steps that we need to follow okay the project is ready and click on continue okay and now here it will display the message saying that we have successfully connected this project to our android application and now click on connect all right and we have this message that i'm talking about and we can go back to our android studio to confirm that we have indeed connected this android application to the firebase project now we are good to go and you can also see the message here we have connected our project to this particular firebase project okay and now uh, we are going to use the authentication services we need to add that dependency to our android studio so i'm going to click on this add firebase authentication to our application and click on accept changes and once i do that it's going to start the gradle build and once that is done we can use this firebase authentication in our application okay the build is successful here and now you can see steps one and step two is um, done so it is displaying in the green and that means we are we have successfully connected firebase to our project and and added the required dependencies okay before we start coding i'm going to go to the firebase console here and uh, actually go to the console so let me click on console.firebase.google.com and here we'll see the project that we just created right so select the project and here now we need to enable the firebase email authentication and the firebase phone number authentication and this is very important step uh, if you don't enable that later we'll get some error and we need to come back and enable that manually so better to enable right now because we are on the console so click on authentication here and go to the sign in method and here you can see ton of uh, services that we can use for the authentication in our android application but we are only interested in email and password so click on that and hit enable and now click on phone hit enable okay right so this, these are the two services that we are going to integrate in our android application and to let the user authenticate themselves okay so uh since we are here i'm just going to create the test number as well so you know for the testing purpose of the otp we can uh, create the test numbers and avoid using the quota that google provide for the free tire because you can only send like a 5000 otp in a month or so up before it start charging you money so uh, if you use test number it's not going to count that uh, otp sent from your uh, quota so yeah it's good so i'm going to add some sample number here so since i'm on so since i'm in india right now so i need to use the indian code but if you want to use any other uh, number from any other country that is up to you test number is completely uh, available to you to use from any country so i'm gonna add some test number so 984575825 so this is just a random number it, it did don't need to be a real number okay and here you can add the uh, verification code that is otp it should be of six digit so i'm just going to get uh, add the uh, six random number and make sure it is the 10 digit so two four six eight and two four six eight and nine so i'm gonna add one more number here so click on add and it's going to register that number as a test number so now whenever you create the sample account you can use this otp to uh, you know create the new account okay click on save and now it should display enable status in these both services and we can go back to the users and it says we don't have any users yet so once we start registering the new account the user are going to appear here okay guys so in this video we learn how to uh, create the new sample android, android studio project obviously you know you knew that and we also created connected our application to the firebase and we also created we also uh, set up the sign-in providers for our application that is email and phone number and we also created the uh, sample phone number for the otp verification okay so this is it for this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do so we are on the road to 10k subscribers so we are so close to 10k subscribers and um, 
I would be happy if you subscribe to our channel and share this and hit that like button because it's going to help to reach more people obviously. So uh, I'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye.